Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Chair here. Today we're making up something ever so simple, but probably something you never thought of before, a grilled cheese pizza. Imagine that. You're gonna love it, so let's get started. I'm just gonna grab a piece of bread here. You can use any bread you want. My personal preference is brown bread. So what we're gonna do is butter one side, and you want your butter fairly soft and melted, otherwise you're gonna kinda tear up the bread. Flip it over, because this is the bottom side that's going to go in the pan. Spoon, I'd say, oh, maybe a tablespoon of pizza sauce onto the center and just kind of swirl it out. And this is our very own homemade pizza sauce, and we have a video of that, so I'll put a link below. I'm going to add some sharp cheddar cheese over top of the pizza sauce, and in my humble opinion, it's really not a grilled cheese sandwich unless you add cheddar cheese. And seeing this is a grilled cheese pizza, I'm going to add some mozzarella over top of the cheddar because it's really not a pizza without mozzarella. Followed by everybody's all-time favorite pizza ingredient, including mine, some pepperoni. Last but not least, some black olives, and you can add whatever ingredients you want to this. You could add bell peppers, onions, basil, kind of the sky's the limit. It's your pizza, so you be the boss. Slap another piece of bread over the top, butter it up, and into the pan. I'm just going to take my flipper here and press this down a little bit. I've got my pan over medium, medium high heat because you don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. You want it enough so it'll brown the bread but yet melt the cheese in the middle. So after about, oh, I'd say three minutes, I'm going to flip it over and let it brown nicely on the other side. Well, the grilled cheese pizza is frying. Remember I asked in the last video why add salt to baking? Well, why add salt to food in general? Salt is a magnifier. It enhances the flavor of everything. A number of you got the answer right, so congratulations. You win your very own grilled cheese pizza. So anyways, now that everything is cooked nicely, I'm just going to cut into this. And look at this guys, ooey gooey goodness, a combination of grilled cheese and pizza. It just doesn't get any better. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more simple recipes. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.